Our top story tonight, a day of violence across our city. Tonight we're following two separate deadly drive-by shootings and we have team coverage tonight. Our Megan Reyna with the killing outside an Airbnb. And the latest shooting happening just hours ago in broad daylight. Children at an Eastside apartment complex having to witness it all. And we start there with Kins 5 reporter Alicia Niavis. So Alicia, any word on who did this tonight? No one is in custody yet, Henry. That is still under investigation by police. This all started just as people were getting home from work around six o'clock. You had children playing at a pool nearby, which the pool, by the way, just reopened today. Gunfire rang out at the Casa Point Villas. These are off of I-10 East in between WW White and Houston Street. Police tell us two people were shot in a driveway at the complex, both young men believe believed to be in their 20s. Neighbors tell us they witnessed an SUV slowly roll by the apartment, fire multiple shots, then slowly drive away. Moments later, police cars swarmed the complex. One of the victims died at the scene. The other was part of a second scene this evening. Police say the mother of the other victim drove him away from the complex and toward the area of East Houston and North Geavers. That's when police say they flagged down an ambulance and the young man who was shot multiple times in the legs was taken to the hospital for treatment. Neighbors tell us this I was upstairs in my room just looking at my window chilly and I heard gunshots like I was like noon to get upstairs. That's my daughter's name. We had seen a lady running down the street. She said he's dead. He's dead in front of my house. And I was like, oh my God, who? So we drive up to the front and we see all this commotion and police pulling up and yeah, I seen the body too, so it was crazy. Every month they have something going on out here. Every month, like it's like it, it's nonstop. Like we stay in the house, my daughter stay in the house, my little brother stay in the house because of this. So that just adds to a string of violence that have happened at these Casa Point villas within the past two years. Multiple neighbors tell me they have had enough and they are moving out. They tell me on top of the violence, broken gates at the at the front entrance and at the exit just contribute to the mischief that's been happening. If you have any information on the suspects in this case, call police. Live downtown, Alicia Neaves, Ken's Five.